This is Cinema Solo, and I'm here for my the new live action Cinderella movie. To get to the Cinderella review, though, I have an amazing announcement Frozen short called Frozen Fever. Uh, in this new short, we have our uh, two new Disney princesses, Elsa and Anna. It's, it's Anna's birthday, and Elsa's trying to make up for all the crappy birthdays that she gave Anna when she was younger and just locked herself up in her room. Uh, this is a great short, and I highly recommend it. If you love Frozen, you will love this short. Uh, also, there's a new dress. And I guess green is going to be the new blue. All right, now that the Frozen's over, let's talk about the new Cinderella live action movie. So this new for Cinderella movie was really good. It holds true to the traditional Cinderella story of very nice blonde girl with nice mother who dies, and then her father remarries to a lady and he dies and she just treats Cinderella like crap because it's her stepchild and spoils her you know two legitimate daughters from her first marriage uh, in this movie you know you really care for Cinderella she's very kind-hearted kind of to a gullible extent you really kind of wish part way through the movie she would just step up and that really makes it gratifying Toward the end, when she does step up and tell you know her stepmother to you know leave her alone. Um, as far as the characters in the story, uh, Cinderella is very good. You know they got a good actress to play her. Uh, the stepmother was really good. She's very evil, but not like ha 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 like classic, classic cackling like Disney villain. Uh, she was just uh, a very socialite, uh, manipulative woman trying to just find a place for her and her two daughters to live. And, you know, bad things kept happening to her, but she really wasn't a nice person anyway. And that's, you know, kind of karma, which is really the point of the whole story. You know, give good, good comes back to you. Uh, the two sisters, very, you know, unnoticeable. They went with, instead of being ugly on the outside, and ugly on the inside, they went with pretty on the outside and ugly on the inside, which is fine, you know, Holly to Hollywood. Um, I feel like one of the shining aspects of the movie, though, is the prince, and they got uh, they got uh, Rob Stark from Game of Thrones. So that is a big plus, and I love Game of Thrones. So stay tuned for Game of Thrones. Overall, the movie was really good. I do recommend you go see it in theaters. It's a great family film. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch. Uh, if I had to give a rating of uh, 1 to 10, I'm going to give it an 8.5. And you'll have to go see it in the movie theater to wait for it on television. I'm going to say you probably need to go see it in theaters. It's really good. Uh, definitely a fun time out. And it's really well. Also, a plus for the movie is the magic in the movie. It's just really... Movie is shot very magical and all the little animals uh, just you know come to life that you feel like they all have personalities but it's not like in the cartoon where they all kind of talk and have like wear clothes and stuff it's just more like a cute like oh she can kind of talk to animals kind of like a female aquaman for farm animals it's you know it's so so but it still works you know, they kept that from the original cartoon back in the day. So that was this that was this review for Cinderella 2015 live action version, Frozen Fever short review. Uh, as always, like, rate, and subscribe and hit the little like button. And please comment on this video and any video that you would like to see. Uh, I have a lot more coming in the next week or so, so see you then.